great flight. Yeah, it was awesome. I started coaching a club when I was in graduate school to help cover expenses and the players just kept coming to me for more and more personal things and that's when I realized coaching isn't just a sport, it's relationships, it's support, it's service and uh, that's when I really caught the bug of like, oh, let me give this a try. Just the core values, that'll be my, my primary you know, talking points about the program, about how we're gonna serve one another and we're, we're gonna work really hard to grow. You know, every day is going to be a day where we push beyond our edge, and we want to bring a Big Ten championship here. Yeah, again. And, you know, and build build a foundation and drive for a national championship. But we're not going to look beyond our first step. That's going to be the most important thing that our culture is strong. Okay, you guys. So wish me luck. Good I'll stumble. Well, I'll make mistakes, and I'll do it with grace. That's good. Yeah. Let's freaking go. Okay. Yeah. Go green. Go white. We interviewed several people that had strong resumes. But in the end, Leah Johnson rose to the top. It's such a pleasure to be here. And I, you know, I'm going to start by issuing many, many thank yous. I'm very honored to follow Kathy. She is a leader in our sport, a leader for women coaches, and clearly has made a huge impact in our community. Why I coach, I love to support women. This year is our 50th anniversary of Title IX, and I wanna to continue to be someone who provides space for women, empowers them, reminds them to find their strengths and lead in, that they deserve a seat at every single table, and together, Spartans will. You have to invest in people first, and I felt that the leadership here believes that wholeheartedly. People can bring the greatest reward, and I see Michigan State making such a huge push to do that right now and value people. In my value system, I believe in service, and I believe in growth. And with those two things, we can accomplish nearly anything. The time and the commitment the coaches shared with me made me realize this is a, a bigger team than my sport. And I wanted to be at a place that my family would be valued, that I would be proud to have my kids raised in the community and wear the green and white. And so this is a special place and I feel I am in a special opportunity. I want to bring an inviting atmosphere. Obviously rowdy, I love rowdy loud, exciting, something people are proud to watch. I want the product we have on the court to be worth showing up and doing all that for. I think what I really invest in is who they are as humans and what their goals are and their ambitions are. I'm not gonna tell you I care about it. I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna describe what that looks like because I think that's the starting point of trust. When there's trust, I can push them harder. When I trust them, I can take their feedback better and apply it faster. Their feedback is just as important as mine is to them. We're gonna compete in a way that champions each other. And we're gonna do it together. Let's go work hard, okay? Go green! There's two things I think I'm gonna ask myself every time I implement something or do something or a conversation I'm gonna have. How is this serving the greater goal and good of the program, the team, the person, and how are we growing? I want to do my best. I wanna honor the opportunities I'm given. We want to compete, we want to have fun, but we also want to be sure we honor our values to each other and to our program and beyond.